So those are the two officials. Let's introduce you to the two players. And joining me, Charlie Broom, in the commentary box for this one. I'm delighted to say we've got an Olympic gold medalist from 2000, Dane Blanton. Dane, introduce us to the two players and tell us about their strengths. What can we expect to see from them? Well, there he is, 25-year-old Anouk Verge Dupre. She's traditionally playing defense. She used to be a blocker, now plays defense full-time, and she is becoming one of the better defenders on tour. A very consistent player with an absolute rifle of an arm. Her partner coming on strong as well, a fifth place in the 2016 Olympics with her former partner, Nadine Zumker. That's 25-year-old, 190-centimeter, Joanna Heindrich. And she is slowly developing into one of the best blockers that we have seen. Both being 25 years of age, there is a very bright future for this Swiss duo. On the other side of the net, a lady who really needs no introduction, Larissa Franza Maestrini. She just goes by the name of Larissa, 35 years of age, 174 centimeters, and you'll never meet a volleyball player with a higher IQ than Larissa. Plays defense full time, knows the shot to go to instinctively, and has really forged a strong partnership with this young lady right here, Talita Darocha Antunes. She goes by the name of Talita. 181 centimeters, 34 years of age. And these two are something special. Legendary players on the beach volleyball tour. Larissa with 62 victories and Talita with 34 of her own. Talita, though, has never been better than third at the World Championships. That was in Stavanger back in 09 with Maria Antonelli. They beat Ana Paula and Shelda of Brazil to unzip. Larissa was a world champion in Rome in 2011, twice a runner-up as well and once third. So she has got a huge amount of experience in this competition. And will that experience count here against a very, very competitive Swiss pairing? It's a really brutal last 16 matchup between two informed sides, and it's Verge Dupre who's going to get this one underway. Switzerland playing from left to right for the opening seven points. And uh, Heidrich does well to keep the ball alive, but Talita puts it over. And now Heidrich with a chance to set a little bit close to the net. She has to improvise, and it's out. Brazil take the opening point. It's going to be very important for this Swiss team to really keep their head together. Joanna Heinrich at times gets a little bit frustrating, frustrated with herself and makes some unforced errors. It's going to be very important that they control that this afternoon. So there is uh, Larissa with her opening serve. Jose Dupre finds unguarded sand to level things up. Verge Dupre, a player that a lot of teams try to avoid because of that powerful arm swing. Really rips that cross court hit and a lot difficult, very difficult actually to defend against as the Swiss give the ball right back to the Brazilians. Those are the kind of errors that have to be really taken out of the game if Swiss is going to get a win. Exactly. I was just going to say they, they need to be tight, don't they? Almost error free. Obviously, that's not going to happen because we've already got one, but they have to be at a minimum. That's a beautiful hit right there and you're absolutely right the brazilians they just don't give you a lot of freebies they're not going to give you any unforced errors they're going to make you earn it they're going to give you the ball as many times as possible so that you can kind of mess up but they're not going to give it to you right there beautiful play by the swiss great chemistry and they win a point on serve so they get the sort of first breakthrough if you like And there's a good block from Heydrich. Now, if memory serves me correctly, Dana, and I think you might have in Rio as well, there's a bit of needle in the quarterfinal between these two pairs. Larissa was uh, questioning quite a lot of, of, uh, of decisions, and that got Heydrich going. And uh, I don't think there was much love lost by the end of that three sets. 
Yeah, and you better believe that no one forgets about that. Whenever things get chippy on the court, you kind of put that in the back of your mind, and the next time you, you play a team, you kind of have that little extra push because uh, it is so competitive out here. You know, it is beach volleyball, but it is sports at its highest level. And you're talking about some legends on the Brazilian side and some youngsters trying to make a name for themselves on the other. We've actually got three world champions out on court, Larissa, but uh, the two Swiss players have won the Junior World Championship, both of them with Betchart, who's now out of the competition um, in successive years. As we see this one pan out. Still with the Swiss. It's been missed again, though. And Brazil going on a little run of points from 2-4 to 5-4. Yeah, those Junior World Championships, uh, Hydrix in 11, Jorge de Prez in 12. Marissa with the serve to Jorge de Prez. She misses now, she's missed a number now. There's those unforced errors. You just don't want them to happen. And the Swiss, I think, have seen enough. They're going to call a very early timeout. You know, you only get one timeout per set, and you also get that stoppage of play at the technical timeout. So to call it this early didn't seem like things were completely falling apart, but the Brazilians do have four points in a row, and I think that concerned the Swiss team, and they had to stop the bleeding. Maybe that's the difference between the two in terms of experience. You see Brazil managed to stop the bleed at three. Maybe they would have called a timeout had it gone to four, but it, as you said, it's managing that timeout, isn't it? And using it, that's what you feel is the best uh, time. But the crowd is getting some uh, much needed uh, water to try and cool down. You've been out on the court today, uh, Dane. It is it's oh, it pretty is, hot, isn't it? It's just, you know, it's stifling hot. It is just blazing. It feels like a, a sauna. And the only relief the players have is in their rest area when there is a timeout or a technical timeout. Otherwise, you are out in the sun. There's no shade. It is beating down on you. There's a slight breeze, but the stadium kind of shields the breeze, and so it kind of swirls around but there's not much relief going on. Now, there's some fan-assisted ovens have a breeze blowing around them, and they're not that, <laughs> that doesn't give you that much relief, does it? It's like that out there as uh, Larissa gets it off the net, and the bleeding is not stopped. It's the run of five now. This is the trademark of this Brazilian team. See how smart, that's the, what I'm talking about, volleyball IQ, knowing when to execute a certain shot, and Larissa the best at doing so. Leader with a little look to check where Verge de Pre is and beats the Swiss dive. And this is rapidly going south for Switzerland. They've got to try and get their scoreboard ticking again. Swiss need to get that ball to the ground and a first ball side out. It's so important to watch how a team, how they earn their points. And you want to put the ball away initially when you receive serve on that first contact. If you have to work hard every single time for points, you know that that's going to really start to catch up to you. Now here is Heydrich. Here's to Talita. Marissa goes over the second touch. Just see how smart she is right there, knowing Joanna Heinrich serves the ball, has to come all the way to the net, so Larissa goes over before she gets set. And that causes some frustration by Heinrich. What Heinrich needs to do is serve the ball a little loopier to the backcourt, give herself enough time to get to the net and get set. A little bit like that, you saw from Talita. And she makes the block, Heinrich. Verge de Prey, Talita's there again, but there's an net fault called on Verge de Prey. She got there just before Talita in terms of the touch on the net. Talita, 5'11", undersized, but for sure a great blocker. Her timing is impeccable. Gets up on the right time, funnels that right to Larissa. Work from Heidrich now, can she finish it was always going cross court Marissa is there now Switzerland a real advantage here to finish it off and they do 
Joanna Heinrich, the 25-year-old on the right side, really ripping that ball. This is a big opportunity after a nice dig. She gets a big double arm lift and then goes right at Larissa, challenging her. Larissa was there, but the hit is too strong. Beautiful cross court, and there's that fist pump. Joanna Heinrich stepping up. Swiss trying to get back into this. Big blocking move. You know, Larissa used to play with Juliana, and they were such a fascinating team. But Larissa always was really hard on Juliana, very fiery. But with this partnership with Talita, they're much more mellow, more relaxed, more composed as Talita hits that ball out of bounds. You can just see their body language. A little more blasé. They know what they're capable of doing. It's just a matter of going out and taking care of business. That ball not even close. Makes amends. Next point. If you think about the, the, the mistakes that have come from the Swiss, if you're going to make them, you want to make them when you're three or four points up because by the time you've rectified the situation, you're not that far behind in the set. They're still, what, three points behind in the set, but it, it could be an awful lot worse. It really could be. They're, they're hanging in there. Oh, the set was too close to the net, but that's good uh, improvisation from Berger de Frey. And at the technical timeout, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's coming up for the next, uh, next point. They might be three down. They could hold and serve here and make it a one point game. And it's the same thing. She's gone flat and short, and she pays the price. Well, Larissa will do that to you. You know, Larissa knows where you're at at all times, and she goes over on two. Athletes getting a little nutrition, a little banana for Larissa. Ice pack to cool things down, a little water. But it's so, so important to stay hydrated and ready to go. Okay, I think we can have a look at the virtual Red Bull Arena and see the uh, service placement from Brazil, and they're asking the question, aren't they, down the middle? Yeah, hoping, hoping for a little miss, perhaps. I love that, that service area right there. Make them make a decision. Not a clear-cut player that they're picking on. They're going right down that middle, kind of drifting to Verge de Pre, but they're not concerned which player to go to. They want to cause some confusion and somehow rattle the Swiss on serve-receive. Well, you could argue that they have rattled them early, but the Swiss have just uh, settled the ship. The Swiss perhaps a little unlucky. I think they were the best second place side in the competition after the pool play, and they've ended up, as the draw would have it, playing the number one seeds in uh, this round. That's a very tough draw. You're absolutely right. And that's what happens in pool play. If, if a, a solid team gets second place in their pool and they're supposed to win it, then it can kind of throw things off. But definitely for this position, it's a big challenge to start it off. Good blocking from Heidek. Brazil with the momentum still. And it's been missed. Just checking to see if there was a, a touch on it, but there wasn't. A lot of miss hits. Remember, I was saying Brazil doesn't give you many points. Well, they're giving away some unforced errors here today, but they continue to have the lead. Jose Dupre read that one nicely. And they've got it back to a point. A point on serve for Anouk Berger Dupre. Yeah, just a, a really tough set by Heinrich, but Verge de Pre gets it over and it's good enough for a winner because the Brazilians can't handle it. They've taken another point and they've leveled it up. Technical timeout coming to their rescue. Fascinating. 
the fact of all the errors that Brazil has made here, and yet we're tied up. That just goes to show you how many errors the Swiss made early on. Oh, good reach from Jorge Dupre, but advantage with Brazil. Now, chance here for the Swiss, which they take, and they get their nose in front uh, once again. Remember, they led 4-2 early on in the set before falling 8-4 down. Perfectly placed hit by Heydrich right down the middle. If there's any indecision, go right down the middle. It's usually wide open. Can't afford that. That's where you got to keep momentum on your side. You can't hit that ball into the net, especially the way Brazil's kind of handing points over in this first set. I don't think I've ever seen Brazil give up man, this many unforced errors this early on. We're about halfway through. So Larissa floats to Verge Dupre. And she's got to make this count because Heydrich is well out of position. <laughs> Heydrich's slow to get up. He pays the price. Got to get up. You got to be ready. That ball just tagging. The outside of the line, remember any part of the ball hitting that line is ruled in bounds. And Brazil doesn't seem to be too concerned. Roger to play with that little touch. Ties it up at 14 all. Nice poke shot, little inside out that sets inside to the middle of the court. And that allows Verge to play go back to the line, opens up some different angles. Oh, nice touch. Right back at you. That's Brazil for you. Almost the exact same shot as we see Verge de Pre do. Here comes Talita. Inside set. Go right back to the line. The defense not even close. Oh, lovely looking cut shot. And this is starting to have all the hallmarks of a real titanic tussle, isn't it? It's back and forth. It's interesting that Brazil had such a lead. It's been relinquished as the Swiss have charged back. But Brazil doesn't seem to be too concerned as of yet. How about that cut shot by Toledo? Not a lot of room for error. Nice follow through. Here's a rotation on top of the ball. That gets the ball down to the sand a little bit quicker. Verge de Pre is in the right spot, just can't make the play. So here is Larissa. And to Heidek this time. Asking Hydric to make the play. Hits it straight back to Larissa. Who's out jumped at the net by Heydrich. And Talita, who has found some really good form in the last what, five or six points, comes up with another winner. I always say Larissa, one of the best at converting defensively. And there's also an uncharacteristic error. And she wasn't happy with herself, just looked to the sky. Brazil, Brazil's the type of team that they just constantly are putting pressure on you. And this first set, they seem a little bit erratic. Oh, dearie me. That's three now in this set for Switzerland. And You've just got to make your opponents play. You never know what might happen. The one thing you do know is going to happen. If you put it in the net, you ain't winning the point. Well, that is for sure. Give yourself as many opportunities as possible. That ball out of bounds. There's your Dupre. And just like that, you see you blink an eye. In Brazil, they get a three-point lead, and they're in incomplete control. That's why you could tell on their face they weren't really concerned. They know they can score against this team, and it's just a matter of doing it. It's surprising, though, that this year in The Hague, in that three-star event, Verge de Pre were victorious. It was in pool play. 
So you never know what the circumstances are there. And this is for elimination, which is awesome because the winner advances and the loser goes home. So the loser will finish ninth and the winner well, goes through the quarterfinals, but it, it will be against the Brazilian side because there are two Brazilian sides playing each other at the moment on one of the outside courts for the right to face the winner of this match. And Brazil, who lost a lot of pairs yesterday, are going to lose at least one today. And they'll be down to one left in the draw. They've got three coming into today, and it'll be one by the time they get to the quarterfinals. It might even be none. That happens a lot when elimination starts. Look at that oh. right there. That's that smart play by Larissa. And you notice she turns her shoulders. You can't set the ball the opposite direction of where your shoulders are going, or it can be called a violation. The last second, she faces, sets it over, and Swiss completely caught off guard. So here's the first set point, which might be converted now. Marissa can't find the kill. Can Heidich goes cross court. It's just on the line. There's a challenge, is that? There? There's a challenge coming from Larissa. So this could be the set, or it might be a second set point, depending on how this goes. It looked very close. Yeah, it really did. And the official call is that it was in. Larissa believed that the ball was out of bounds, and they'll take a look at it with that Hawkeye system. Here's a look at the replay, see if we can see it. Close. Very close. On the game camera, I don't think the frame rate is enough. Yep, that ball's in. Yeah. That's a hell of a call from the line judge, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. In real time to get that call correct is very difficult. The referees have been spot on here at the World Championships. They have been. That's that is something that I've noticed. Is that the calls are very rarely overturned. They have had an excellent uh, competition. Cross court, second time of asking is the opening set, 19 points to 21. It's as close as it can be. But Brazil with their nose in front, Switzerland with it all to do now. Let's have another look at this final point, Dane. Jump float serve goes to Talita. She goes behind, and that's to move the blocker, Heinrich, so she can't get set up in time, and it works perfectly. The execution is solid. Here's the jump float by Heinrich. She has to run all the way to the net, gets set. But when they go back, she's got to run even more. Gets her feet there, but Toledo with a slight edge going cross court for the victory. So Brazil very cool and calm throughout that first set. Never pushing the panic button. Confirmation then that first set going the way of the number one seed, 21-19. And uh, these stats, what do they tell us? that it's very, very close. Look at that, though. The Swiss with with, the, with all the blocks. The only real difference is the service there in the top stat. It is that close. Yeah, everything so close, although the Swiss owning the airspace at the net, which is rare because Talita usually so effective. But what does that say? That say that Brazil, they have a lot of room for improvement. If Talita can get a couple yeah. more blocks, can you imagine the pressure that it will put on